everyone, you're watching Bite Me with Nicole and today we have a date night recipe for you. Now we do this on our date nights over here because we are both lovers of each other and of food. Husband and wife who happens to be the cameraman as well. So today we have a Spanish chili clams and this is delicious and saucy and seafoody and everything brilliant and this way you're going to get people to fall in love with you a hundred percent. Okay, so first we're going to start making our sauce and the big twist to this is that we actually finish it on the barbecue so that the clams get this lovely smoky flavor. So to start with, I have my big pan over here, my lovely cast iron pan. I'm going to set that on. Then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, Just about a tablespoon and a half to start with. Now because these are Spanish style chili clams, we obviously have some chorizo in them. And over here I have about 80 grams to 85 grams of chorizo and I'm just going to add it into the pan once the oil is slightly hot. So you're just going to get the chorizo to let out its fat and its lovely delicious oil and flavour the oil that we've already put in the pan. And then we will continue to cook our tomato base in this very pan. Just make a layer and let it fry. Also while you're making your sauce base, you need to get a pot of boiling water with potatoes already in them and you're going to parboil your potatoes. So almost until they are completely done but just before that, that sweet spot because we are going to put them in together and then barbecue all of it. Just stir your chorizo around. Make sure it's not burning. Also, if you're wearing a nice dress, wear an apron, guys. So, once your chorizo has been cooked, it has released its lovely oils, you're going to take the chorizo back out of the pan and set it aside to add to the clams later on because you don't want it to continue to cook and get harder and harder. Now, with the flame off, you're going to add your onions because remember, this is already quite hot from the fact that we just cooked the chorizo in it. And over here, I have 75 grams of Spanish red onion. I'm just going to add that in. It's a small dice. Just coat your onion in the oil. Now you turn your flame back on and you're going to wait for your onions to soften and turn translucent. And you see the beautiful red colour that they've taken on because of the chorizo. Also to aid your onions to soften faster, you're going to just get a little bit of salt, about a pinch and sprinkle that around. What that's going to do is help the onions leach out all of the liquid that's in them, the moisture that's in them. So they will cook slightly faster because of that. Continue to stir to make sure they don't burn. Next, we're going to add our garlic and garlic is super crucial to this dish, okay? You cannot have like one clove of garlic for this dish. It's a garlicky, beautiful, flavoured dish. And it, like I said, it works really well for date night. Don't worry about the garlic. Good food is the way to any woman's heart, at least to mine, 100%. The way to my heart. So now I'm going to add my garlic and this is around six to seven cloves of garlic that I grated. If your flame is too high and things are colouring too fast, you can make the flame lower. Or once the garlic hits it with the chorizo oil, it smells so great. So I've lowered my flame and now I'm going to add 100 grams of blanched tomato. And I blanched it only because I don't want the skin to be all over the clams when I cook this finally. I don't want people to have to bite and have the little skin on their palate. Okay, just add that in. Do this on a low flame so it doesn't splash all over. Raise your flame back up and you're just going to wait for the tomatoes to break down even further. This sauce is like everything that holds this dish together. Because it is so boldly flavoured and so vibrant that you feel compelled to eat every last bit of it. Next, you're going to add your cognac to this. You can use white wine if you don't have cognac and that will work just as well. And over here, I have one fourth cup of cognac. You want this to evaporate and just leave that lovely flavour behind. The great thing about cognac is it's going to give the entire dish this really nice rounded profile. So it's going to feel like you're having a really wholesome, beautiful meal when you have the taste of cognac dancing on your tongue. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now at this point, we're going to add our chilli sauce. And this is our very own Bite Me With Nicole special chilli sauce. And I'm going to link the recipe to the sauce as well and you definitely need this to make this dish. You can use this for so many things, it's so versatile. You can use it as a dip, you can use it as a pickle if you're eating rice and dal, it's amazing. So I'm just going to start with about half a teaspoon because this is quite spicy. And I want you to layer it based on how much of a spice level you can tolerate. So just half a teaspoon first. Ah, smells so good. Stir it in. 
Now I'm going to lower the flame again and I'm going to add 200 grams of chopped tin tomatoes, all right? Just give that a stir and let it come to a nice simmer. So after you add your tomatoes, you're going to get your tomato paste and this is pretty much a tomato concentrate. And this is like a big huge hit of tomato. So you want about a really nice heaped tablespoon into this, okay? This is definitely a tomato based dish. Just give that a stir. Bring your flame up to a medium so it starts to simmer. Imagine the clams and potatoes sitting in this and just gonna barbecue and get smoky and even better. Now at this point you're gonna get your smoked paprika and you're gonna add about one teaspoon. So once you've added your paprika, just stir that around. And then you're gonna get about one cup of prawn stock and put all of it in. Then just gently stir it all in so it all incorporates properly. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna lower your flame and just let this simmer for about five minutes. You don't want it to thicken completely and become like a paste. You do want it to have some sort of silkiness and a viscosity to it because you are gonna add other things to this and it needs to coat the clams and the potatoes. If your sauce gets too thick and you want it to be more velvety, what you're gonna do is add up to half a cup more of prawn stock or you can add water if you don't have any prawn stock left. It smells so good in here. Now we're gonna start layering like I said again. And what we're going to do now is add a little bit more paprika. And I'm going to add one teaspoon again. Don't be afraid of adding this much of paprika because you are going to flavor the potatoes and the clams with it as well. So think about all the other things that are going to be added to the base. It's not just the base. Okay, give it one last stir. Then you're going to taste it. I would like it slightly spicier, so I'm going to add some more chili paste. Right after I wash my hair. So I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon more. I like doing this in layers and stages because that way I can control just how spicy I want it. And also the spiciness will vary because of the sweetness of the tomatoes. I love how the chili paste is almost jammy and beautiful. And it has been cooked for a long time itself. So it's not like this super, super crazy raw spice on your palate. Okay, so stir. Now you're gonna add some more salt. And then you're gonna give it a taste again. So what I use over here is sea salt. I'm gonna add a really big pinch. Because like I said, I know all the other things that are gonna be added to the sauce. You can serve this by itself with a salad or maybe with some toast to just, you know, sop out the lovely sauce that's at the bottom of the clams. Can you imagine this is actually gonna get even richer because the clams, once they cook, are gonna let out their lovely liqueur into the sauce and it's going to be so glorious, I promise. I know I sound excited, but that's because it is delicious. Now I'm also going to add a little bit of pepper and here I have some freshly crushed pepper. I'm going to add a nice pinch. This is not so much for heat but it's just about having another tangent to the entire dish, another flavour which will kind of elevate the whole thing. I love cooking this for date nights because I love the theatrics of finishing it off on the barbecue and then eating with your hands and pulling out the clams. And it's such a romantic dish because obviously if someone is making something like this for you, it is completely out of love. And that's what cooking is in general if you're doing it for other people, it's just about love. Remember, if you're cooking this in a cast iron pan and once you set it on the barbecue, the sauce is going to continue to thicken because the pan will stay hot for so long even after you remove it off the barbecue. So you don't want it to be a completely dry sauce at this point because you know it's going to thicken later on as well. If by chance you have added too much of the chilli paste, do not worry, just add like a teaspoon of sugar to balance things out and it will be delicious and fine and you won't burn your little head off. Okay, next I'm going to add some lemon juice and this is just about a teaspoon of lemon juice. This reminds me of being in Goa for some reason even though I've never cooked this in Goa. It's just the seafood and the barbecue and the joy of it all. Now you're going to put your chorizo back in. Don't waste any of that oil. Give it a stir. Turn your flame off. Now I'm going to add my parboiled potatoes. And this was about 200 grams of potatoes. Just stir that in. So imagine the potatoes are also going to soak up some of the liquid. That's a nice balance because then you have the clams which are going to give out some liquid and give out some liquid. A lovely little marriage of ingredients. So if you're trying to make this a whole meal, what I have over here is just some patron peppers and I'm just going to put some olive oil on them. And then I'm going to also cook those on the barbecue. 
just to have you know a green aspect to make yourself feel healthy. Okay, so just mix those around. And I do these really simply. So just olive oil, salt, and pepper. And by the way, once these blister on the barbecue, they smell so good and taste beautiful. Next, I have about a kilo and a half of clams, give or take. I'm just gonna put those in gently because they will cause the sauce to splash. So put a few inside and then mix them so the sauce kind of goes in between them. Okay. Also, if you don't have a barbecue, you could obviously finish this on a stove. You could just add your clams and then cover it up and wait till they are all open and then you're practically done. Look at that sauce. Look at that lovely glisten in the sauce. That's from the oil from the chorizo and the olive oil itself. Okay. And these are fresh clams that I have cleaned by soaking in water so that they expel all of the sand which is in them. If you make this for a date, I really hope they come super hungry because this is obviously a massive portion. But remember, it's clam, so it's just a tiny bit of muscle between the shells. It's not quite all of this. So now gently kind of try and coat all of the clams in the sauce. So when they cook on the barbecue, they will flavor the actual clam inside. By the way, if you have never eaten clams, this is a very good recipe to start with. It will make anyone a believer. Now that I've mixed the clams into the sauce, it's time to barbecue it. And just before I put it out, I'm just gonna add a tiny, 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 tiny splash of water. And this is about a teaspoon of water and that's it. Okay, now we're gonna see you outside in our little balcony with our beautiful barbecue. So now it's time to put our lovely clams onto our wonderful makeshift barbecue over here. I'm just gonna set them up. So now you're going to need to cover them. If you don't have a cover, you can just get some foil, cover it before you put on the barbecue and let them cook for about 8 minutes. You check them and see if they've completely opened up and then you gauge how much more time you need. It's just that simple, okay? So I'm going to say I love you clams and I will see you soon. So it's been about 10 to 12 minutes and look at how they're opening nicely. I'm just going to give them a slight stir. Look at that. And they've all pretty much open, so I'm going to take this off of the barbecue and garnish it and get ready to eat. So after the clams are done, you obviously garnish it with some lovely coriander or parsley if you have some and big lemon wedges just to add to the theatrics of it all. And most definitely try your food before your date comes because if you're going to feed someone you love, you better know how it tastes. Yup. Oh, smells so good. Let's get to a clammy first. Still hot and beautiful. Can you tell I'm salivating because I so definitely am. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. The smokiness really gets into the clams because of the barbecue and because you cover it. And also it just enhances the smokiness of the paprika and the chorizo. And it makes you feel like you're probably somewhere in Spain falling in love with some Spanish man. And it's also romantic and also beautiful and so fun to eat because imagine you're eating with your hands you're enjoying that beautiful morsel of clam with the lovely soft potatoes which are just creamy and delicious mm. you can use the bread to dunk into the sauce and taste the sauce as well and now I'm gonna go and wait for my lovely date who is my husband and I hope you guys cook this for someone you love and enjoy a wonderful evening as well